Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> if you collected unemployment last year, or now, or whatever, if you collect unemployment, uh, the new Biden law <laughs> will give you like a refund or, or an extra stimulus check for, listen to this, $1,000 to $2,000. So you could get more <laughs> in your extra stimulus check uh, than you got from the $1,600. And that's what because when you apply for unemployment before March this year, see what they were doing is taxing your unemployment. So in other words, if you got $20,000 in unemployment or something, so that means your income was $20,000 that you had to pay taxes on. Well, now what Biden has said is that you don't have to do that. So they're retroactively <laughs> to last year, you don't have to pay. So the IRS now is going back. Now, here's the links. I'll give you this is a link about the article. They explain the article is important. So uh, make sure you know about that. But here's the report on uh, the IRS, what they're doing. He says, to help taxpayers, the Internal Revenue Service today will take steps to automatically refund money this spring and summer to people who filed their tax returns <laughs> reporting unemployment compensation before the recent changes in the American Rescue Plan. Sorry, I had to move my little gadget around. The legislation signed March 11th, so this is just a couple of weeks ago, allows taxpayers who earned less than $150,000 in modified adjusted gross income to exclude unemployment compensation up to $20,000, $20,400 for people filing joint and $10,200 for single taxpayers. So that means, you know, if you made $50,000 uh, last year, you and your wife, and that you pay taxes on it, but $20,000 was in um, unemployment compensation, now you've only made $30,000. <laughs> And so you only pay taxes on 30000 not 20000 And that's where you could get back a rebate uh, about the $2,000. Because of the change occurred after some people filed taxes, IRS will take steps in the spring and summer to make the appropriate change to the return, which may result in a refund. The first refunds are expected to be made in May and will continue into the summer. For those taxpayers who already filed and figured their tax based on the full amount of unemployment compensation, the IRS will determine the correct taxable amount of unemployment compensation and tax. Any resulting overpayment of tax will be either refunded or applied to outstanding taxes owed. Okay, For those who have already filed, the IRS will do the recalculation in two phases. Starting with those taxpayers eligible for up to 10,000, the IRS will adjust the returns for married taxpayers who are eligible up to or 20,000 and with more complex returns. Now that's, here's something important too. There is no need for taxpayers to file an amendment return unless the calculations make the taxpayer newly eligible for additional federal tax credits. What are the additional federal tax credit? They're really, most of them are on the EITC, Earned Income Tax Credit. So that means if you make over a certain amount of money, you can't get that tax credit, which is really a grant. They give you money even though you don't owe any tax. So if you have an extra $20,000 in your income, you may be out of the ball game, like if you have kids, you get up to you know $6,000, so you're not eligible for that. But now, because you're going to take $20,000 off your income, you'll be eligible. And so the government not only has to give you $2,000, they'll have to give you maybe another $6,000. Wow. So already now you have $8,000 more. And it all depends on who you are and all this kind of stuff. Hey, but there's also another thing is the earned income tax credit for people with no kids. Now, I didn't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> until uh, the Biden thing came up, because you know, I don't read everything all the time. And, and there, if you have no children and don't make a lot of money, you can get like it's six hundred dollars. But for last year, but this year it's going to be fifteen hundred dollars. You know, and the amount of income you have to have will be more, or or the limit. It's actually a limit income. So now, see, you have to check if you take the income from your unemployment and you don't have children, or even if you have children, you go and fill out a form on the EITC, 
Okay, that's a form of the IRS, E-I-T-C, earned income tax. Very simple. You put in this, that, income, blah, 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 and you said how much you get. Okay, and it's a, an option there, even for it's a child for children. It tells you, do you have zero children? <laughs> yes. Well, why are you call it a children tax credit? <laughs> well, mine's not the reason why. Okay. <laughs> uh, so that's now listen to this. Uh, according to the Department of Labor, over 23 million workers nationally filed unemployment last year. 23 million people, so may be eligible now for up to an extra $2,000 stimulus check. <laughs> you got what? And the government will take care of most of it. But what you want to know is that affect your income for if you're eligible or not for the earned income tax credit. Okay, so I have all this stuff here. Uh, and here's how to, and if it does, then you will file an amendment tax return. So if you sent in your 2020 tax return and you have this, now, if you're not involved with the earned income tax credit, uh, then the government will send you a check. If you think you'll be eligible for the earned income tax credit, you do the math and you file amendment return. Now, the other thing I'll put in the description is how to get free tax help. Okay, so if you're making less than like seventy four thousand dollars, you get free tax help in this country. Don't go to H and R Block and all these kinds of things. No, uh, yeah, you got to wait in line there anyway. So wait in line where it's free. <laughs> okay, and so look in the description. I'll have the links to all this for free tax help, uh, for how to get that two thousand dollars, and then how to go back and get an extra five hundred or six thousand dollars. Okay, it's all right there. And these are ta- they're through the tax system, but they're grants. These are all refunds that you get even if you don't pay taxes. See, a lot of people, oh, it's a tax refund or a t- tax credit. And that means I have to pay. No, you have no zero taxes. You still, they send you more money on top of that. So don't worry about that. Just look at it as a grant, okay? <laughs> and we'll grant you that. <laughs>